Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you another piece from my Disney Unesco Couture de Force collection and it's Christmas time in Halloween Town and if you're anything like Jack Skellington, you might be wondering what's this? Well this is Holiday Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas and as I've said in previous videos, this particular line of figurines is an elevated take on the Disney character's classic looks with many beautiful added embellishments. And straight off the bat you can see that Sally has many beautiful Christmassy festive embellishments added to her classic Halloween look. Um, her name is Holiday Sally. She does come with an, a Jack Skellington in the same collection and he's also very Christmassy. He's got like a Santa coat on with a hat and a like a bag of presents swung around his shoulder. So it's a really cute little Christmassy series. And let's go ahead and zoom in on her face. And she looks pretty much the way that she looks in the movie. She's got the big ragdoll eyes with the thick black eyelashes, red lips, and then stitches across her forehead and on her mouth that she's supposed to be like a female Frankenstein. She's got a little added embellishment in her beanie. It's little, like three little red gemstones that make up the berries to the little holly leaves in the hat. And then the hat is a red with the fur white trim going around it and then a little white pom-pom at the top. And then in her left hand, she's holding up some mistletoe. It looks like she's got a little romantic festive surprise in store for Jack Skellington. And then her little fingernails are painted a festive red. And she's wearing this beautiful red and white capelet or coat. And it's the Santa red with the white fur. And then she's got a really bright red festive long sleeve underneath the capelet. And there's a big green bow fastening it together at the top. And then her dress is very Sally-esque as it is, you know, like, it looks like a bunch of different fabrics sewn together with a little nod to Christmas as it's got the mistletoe fabric at the bottom. And I just love the little patch in the middle. And then her legs got have the stitchings in them. She got the little stripy socks and her little black boots. And I love how she's on her toe and then has her little heel in the air. And the inside of the coat is just a painted gray just to kind of go with some of the gray in the dress and then in her right hand she's holding a muff let's turn her you can kind of start to see some of the beautiful stone carvings in her cape. And let me turn it around so we can get the full effect. This was my favorite part of the figurine. I just love all of the many faces of Jack Skellington that are carved into her cape. It was very creative, beautiful idea. And then I love how her long red hair looks like it's blowing in the wind. It's just a nod to her character as her hair is just always blowing in the wind in Halloween Town. So it's a nice little touch. And then here's this side of her. Get a better look at the hat. And then she's got more of the design the carved design of Jack Skellington on the top of her little cape as well. And then her right hand is not showing at all. It's completely inside the muff and the muff is kind of rough in texture. And there's one little thing about this figurine. 
She's a little bit different in terms of her size and scale from the other figurines. She's a little bit smaller, so I was a little surprised. So just to give you an idea, just kind of put her next to another figurine. You can see she's shorter and just overall smaller. She's got like a smaller head, smaller arms, hands. So her scaling is a bit smaller than the normal Inesco figurines that they come out with. And there, there is another Sally figurine in the Inesco line. It looks like she's, to me she looks like a can-can girl because she's wearing like a a short bell-shaped skirt and then she's got a long feather in her hair and her hair is all curly um, but I think she's supposed to be going to a ball it's actually a really cute figurine and then they're coming out with a new Sally one in I think September of this year 2020 and I can't wait for that one she's wearing like a long ball gown that goes all the way down to the floor and that is in Sally fashion as well because it looks like a bunch of fabrics are sewn together and then her hair is down and parts of it are clipped up. So it looks really cute. And she's coming out with a Jack Skellington from the same series and an Oogie Boogie. So be on the lookout for those. And this particular figurine, I think you can still get it on the UNESCO website. Um, there's also eBay, Amazon, other online sites like the Disney Store, Hallmark. Um, online stores like Walmart, Target, or Hot Topic might have it. She's usually around $40 to $60. The Jack Skellington that she comes with is a little more rare. He's usually like $100. So she's not too hard to get. But this is my Sally from the Disney Inesco Couture de Force collection.